Okay, so now after we have harvested the uh, ground nuts, which is the temple from the field, okay, so now they are doing, they are separating the above ground parts and below ground parts. So you can have a look. So now they are separating from above ground and below ground, and after that, 
they will uh, put the sample into the oven for drying. So after that, after drying, we will uh, get the dry mass, dry weight. So the dry weight will be used in the uh, RUE, radiation use efficiency, the equation. Ah, bagi itu. Ayo, nyala. Uh, oven tu um, chimney turn on this one mm -hmm. in case tak muat oh okay mm -hmm. so boleh masukkan half ke sini lah ke satu group ni satu group tu dia ada oven bukan kat sana ah dia ada oh. fisio oh. yeah. dia, dia macam macam ni tak 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 oh that's why <laughs> okay. jangan tak bawa lah tak yang <laughs> Um, so they don't have to separate lagi Kita masuk dalam Spread masa kelas lah Yeah, masa kelas lah okay. Kita separate lah Why not Because I see Dalam door tu tak ada brush mm -hmm. Next week Suruh semua orang bawa 1% 1 toothbrush Oh Suruh bawa Okay Nanti bawa dulu saya Nanti bawa saya brush yang No, no, dia, dia seorang bawa Satu toothbrush ni Terima kasih Sebab you need to Remove the soil after. Completely Yeah, yeah Completely. Hmm. Sekarang susah. Memang susah. Don't, don't do anything about it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, tak kalau manusia tak ada lebih. Tak boleh cari. Kalau the post yang jatuh-jatuh tu masuk with roots lah. Roots yeah, yeah. Okay. Everything go with roots. The, follow the path je yeah, lah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sanitize lah semua. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so now finally they have uh, all of them has completed uh, uh, putting the samples into the envelope and splitting the parts. So now uh, we'll put the sample into the oven and after that, after drying, we'll only take the dry white. So I will see you uh, after the drying complete, uh, the drying process is completed. Thank you. <laughs> hey, um, is everyone here? All good? All good? Okay. Um, so you have done a few things today. Like, okay. So what did you just do? What, what experiment are you dealing with today? What is it called? R for radiation use if efficiency. <coughs> right. Okay. You the thing that you need to understand is we are dealing with crop production. Okay. So the concept of crop production to do the production line not necessarily with crop with any kind of production but since you are in the faculty of agriculture you are dealing with crop production okay so there is a line of system in order for you to get your production so you should be so you are dealing with the input, you have your input, and then this input will undergo some kind of specific process to get your output. Okay, and your output can be anything depending on the crop that you're dealing with. So output can be like um, the yield, the output can, can, can be in terms of um, what? biomass or even the output can be something less thought about something like prob probably oxygen or um, sequestration do you know sequestration um, 
it's kind of like a binding sequester. You see, um, some materials, they have the tendency or the ability to keep something else inside the body. Okay. For example, um, you're going to have a look at this later. One of the consumables in the equipment uh, of photosynthesis, the Lyco equipment, we have this thing called soda lime. Okay. So soda lime, it can contain something else inside of it. In this case, it can contain CO2. All right. Maybe you're more familiar with this example because you like to shop, do shopping and sometimes when you're shopping, you get this. You know this thing? What does it contain? It likes to take what? What? Where do you get, get your silica gel? Do you know silica gel? Nobody know. If you if you if you if you buy something like let's say that you buy vitamin C from the pharmacy, you have your bottle, right? So you have your this is ugly vitamin C bottle. There's al always a packet of this thing. Do not eat. Okay. Sometimes you buy shoes, you buy that kind of thing. So this gel absorb H two O. So the action of clawing in, clawing in, or absorbing, and also absorbing all of this, we can collectively call it as a sequester. So the very good concept is carbon sequestration. There's a lot of greenhouse gases right in our atmosphere now, causing the greenhouse effect to our planet. So many government agencies now, they are working to do carbon sequestration, to, to capture the carbon and store it somewhere so that this carbon is not floating around in the form of CO2 in the atmosphere and causing global warming. Okay, so your output can be anything, including the sequestration, okay? All right, now when you call something about input, input sometimes can be um, natural, sometimes it can, can, can be something that you need to worry financially. Okay, so let's say that you want to produce, what, what did you just harvest today? Groundnuts, right? What do you think is required for the production of groundnut? What do you need? So financially, what do you need to buy in order to produce groundnut? Seeds, true. Seeds, fertilizer. What else? Just two things you need to buy? Yeah, maybe watering. Yeah, H2O. What about the thing that can naturally present as the input? So it can be H2O as well from the rain. You can get free H2O, you can get air, you can get light. Okay. If we only focus on this, meaning that for some amount of fertilizer, what amount of yield, biomass, or whatever that you get, that is in the sense of economic sense. If you use this to describe how much you get this, that is in the economic sense. But if you are using this column to talk about how much you get your output, that is in the sense of crop 
efficiency. How efficient is your crop in utilizing its resources, such as light, in order to produce one unit of biomass, yield, or whatever it is. Okay, so now, today we are dealing with light. Light is free. Do you need to pay for the sunlight? Some people say yes, we pay for the land, maybe that's for the sunlight as well. Mm. However, you can use light efficiency as a tool to understand your crop. What's the Latin name for your crop? Arachis. Hypogea. Is it Hypogea? What's the family? What's the family for your groundnut? What's the family? Is the bean family? What family is it? Okay. <clears throat> Alright. So you need to understand now the light that has been received by the plant, how much of its energy can be converted into your output of interest. You don't care about the money so much now. You, you, you don't want to understand the efficiency because efficient crops will eventually give you a lot of profit. Okay? So, for whatever that you have done today, you will see in your, um, uh, what do you call that? Your manual. Is, is, there, is, is there a formula in there? Did you find any formula? What's the formula? Why? Over. What is it? HI times F fragment times I. So what are these? So yield, this thing, is actually this thing, the output. It can be anything. It can be leaf, it can be stem. We are interested with the pot, so it will be your pot. So this letter will be in the form of your um, pots. Pots. So maybe it will be in the form of a gram per meter square. Square meter, okay? And then HI. HI stands for Harvest Index. What is it? So it's simply as harvested um, output over the entire harvested biomass. Remember, your plant has organs. Okay? Your plant has organs. You have your root and shoot system. You might be only interested with this. Okay? But your entire harvested biomass will contain all of this. So this guy here, harvested output, and this is your entire harvest. So usually something you maybe you can get like maybe what, 70% perhaps, 60% percent perhaps. So this guy, no unit, is simply in the form of ratio, okay? Zero point X, because this actually is percent, okay? If I say um, this thing I got 0 0.73, how many percentage is that? 73%, okay? All right, and then you deal with the F. What is F? Okay, F actually stands for the fraction 
of um, radiation uh, intercepted. Intercepted. So basically, this is your canopy area. That's why just now you took the image from the top. Okay? So looking from the top, the aerial view, you will have your plant, something like that, perhaps. For this given area. If this is, say, uh, 60 and say that this is 80 so the entire area for here is 480 the square but the 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 occupancy of your plant cannot be 480 perhaps I do not know maybe it's only like 60% of it yeah so 60% of it Perhaps, how many? 60% from 40, 480. How much? How much? How much? How much? Anybody can speed count? Anybody can speed count? How, 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 how much is it? 288. Okay. All right. So this is in the, let's say that this is a 60%. So in here also in the form of ratio. Okay. And then there comes this guy here. I. I is actually your in um, interception of radiation. Okay. Meaning that... Um, uh, so sorry, not, not interception. Sorry, sorry. It's not interception. It's the incidence of radiation. Incidence of radiation. How much of the solar or the light coming towards your area? How much? That's why you take for the whole hour just now. So this thing actually depends on the equipment. Okay? Whatever equipment that can quantify the solar amount, you can use for it. What is the unit that you saw just now for this paranometer? What unit? What per meter square? Okay. So now that you have had all of this thing, what is the unit for RUE? Anybody want to derive this algebra thing? So gram per uh, square. So what else do we have? So that actually can be one. That actually can be one. That actually can be what per meter square. So how does it look like actually? Have you ever done this before? This, this uh, fraction thing. How, how would it become now? This one should go away. Gram. Is it correct? Is it correct? What's wrong with it? Any, anybody want to correct this? How, how, how? This will be your homework. Try to do this. No, I'm making a point here. Just because you're an agronomist, you're dealing with agriculture, doesn't mean that you, you don't have to know mathematics at all. This is still a um, very basic algebra. 
Anybody want to help me? Anybody want to help me? Oh, go, 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 go. Yay. As simple as that. So do not get scared whenever you see something mathematical. So, okay, mathematics is your friend. Okay, you can do a lot when you know all this simple mathematics. Okay, so the unit for your RUE is gram of output per unit of water sunlight coming towards your way. Okay, that is all. So we have two groups, right? Let's see how you're doing, okay? In fact, you can have this RUE for different part because you have the shoot part, right? You have your shoot. So this can be your all your leaves plus your stem. How about the, gr the ground, the root or root? What can you have? You have your root, you have your pots, plus pot. In fact, your pots can further divide into what? It can be your seeds. It can be your, the shell. You can see that. So all of this will contribute to your understanding about the crop efficiency. That's why do not get easily deceived with the high weightage of pots because your pots heavy. It's true, it's heavy. It might be heavy in the shell, but not so much with the seeds. As a consumer, which one do you want? You want the, 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 the shell or the seeds? Seeds. Seeds, right. Okay. So when, when we understand about this whole process of input to output process and high uh, efficiency, you can understand your plan better. Okay, this is how we can um, formulate advice to our current agronomic practice. And also you want to advise farmers probably, or maybe you want to guide the breeding program. We know that, oh, um, our current variety now producing a lot of shell. Maybe we should be producing something, you know, a new variety online with having less this. Yeah, so you can play around with the organs now. Okay, maybe you have a variety. You don't need a tall variety. You need a short variety, but you will have more of the ground part. Something like that. Okay, is that clear? Okay, all right. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And we can do this uh, more later after you have taken your data. So this will be dry until Monday. What time are you going to pick up? Uh, because you need to remove this because uh, other class might need to use the oven. Okay, so remove that. Uh, you don't have to do anything about it. We still have class again, right? The lab next week. Yeah, but I think you need to um, fertilize your onion, right? Yes, you need to fertilize your onions. So next week, very quickly, fertilize your onion. That shouldn't take very long, maybe 30, 40 minutes only. Okay, fertilize your onion, check your onion. And it, maybe you need to take some data, I do not know. Do you need to take any data? Oh no. What, what, what was the schedule for your onion thing? We kind of move forward uh, everything because of, um, you know, the, 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 the current holiday time. Okay. Yeah. Not to worry, we can just um, fertilize your, your onion and then um, we can come back to the lab and then we deal with this thing. Okay. Why not you bring brush on your own to brush off all the, uh, the pots next week? Okay. 
toothbrush. Everybody should have a toothbrush. Or you use what? Anybody hasn't got any toothbrush? <laughs> so bring a toothbrush so that you can properly clean because there are still some um, dried soil sticking to your plants. We don't want that. We want the biomass of your plant, the crop, not the biomass of the soil. Okay? So we'll remove that using the brush and then you'll start to weighing all of this. Okay? Separate this. Separate this according to the plant organs uh, and then we can get the data for the next uh, activity. Okay? All right? All right. Is there any question? I think that's all for today. All good? All happy? Okay? All hungry? <laughs> okay. Uh, if you haven't got any question, okay, that's all for today. So I'll see you again on... Oh, uh, you need to decide when you, would you like to have the replacement class. You sh Yeah, some when? One time you cannot do because I have other class. Uh, you cannot do this. Thursday... 14.30 to 16.30. This one has been taken. Cannot. Taken by my other class. I got botany class. When? Hey, you should have decided by now. Because I asked this before, right? We're not going to do the replacement class now. Okay. We will let you know later when, which week. Maybe I think it should be after the mid sem break. So that everybody is relaxed, calm down, you know. Okay, when? When would you like? Thursday can, other than that time. Uh, Friday can. Yeah. You can be at night as well. Um, uh, in the main campus.